John, what are you, you doing? Seth, I, I prepared for this welcome all day today, and I did not have time to get my regular work done because I was preparing for the welcome I didn't get to do. So I, I need to get some work done. But would you guys yes, mind really if I wrote some thank you notes? For... Because I forgot my thank you notes for the week. I have to go ahead and take a seat. You know, write some thank you. I write thank you I... notes every week, <laughs> normally on Tuesdays. And Who do you think you I was are? Getting Johnny ready Fallon? for the welcome. So I'm going to write my thank you notes. I, oh, goodness. I, I know most pastors don't do this, but I write thank you notes to music. I just find it more soothing. Sarah Kreischer, Sarah Kreischer, where are you? Would you play oh some gosh. thank you note you music for Sarah me? Sarah over here for this? Sarah's a great, she comes every Tuesday and wrote, plays music for me while I write <laughs> thank you notes. I always wonder what happened when I'm not here. <laughs> Sarah, could you play some thank you note music for us? That's... That's good music. That's, that's pretty good, Sarah. Nice. Nice. That's a good fake smile. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to everyone who listens to Christmas music way too early each year for helping me realize that all I want for Christmas is for Mariah Carey to stop singing. <laughs> that's right. Am I right? She should have stopped a while one ago. One <laughs> person. I mean, how many times can she say the same phrase in one song? When, when does Carrie listen to Christmas music? Uh, after Christmas, usually. Or, I mean, after Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. Sometime after Christmas, usually the next This year is around. the guy you chose as the leader. I'm just going to point that out right now. <laughs> Thank you, protesters who make your own signs at protests. Can I, can I have a protest joke? Is that appropriate? It's up to you. Right, You're divides America. Of this thing. Thank you, protesters who make your own signs for not becoming an English teacher. What? No, next, next one. That's the guy. <laughs> Who's Moran? Get That's a brain, Moran. Who's Moran? Yeah. <laughs> Probably if I, we knew him, we'd want him to get a brain too. I just want to point out he's wearing a cardinal shirt. <laughs> he doesn't live too far from here. Thank you, Amazon Lightning Deals, for making sure that I don't miss this furry nightmare. So, no kidding you, I saw this last week. It's a feisty pet that when you push it, scares the crap out of you. Now you know how we feel every day in the office around here. <laughs> <laughs> now, what most of you don't know is that Seth is an Amazon freak. You are, a, you are addicted to Prime, right? I am addicted, yeah. In fact, last week, Seth bought this next beauty here. As you can see, the, the seller said, it don't include dolls, huh? Don't include, this is literally what it said, don't include dolls, not doesn't include dolls. Did you even know that's the right English? I don't speak English too good. <laughs> I got one right here. Thank you, Cardin Michael Bartell. Cardin? Oh, oh. Caden, you mean? Caden. Caden, I wrote, I typed it wrong. <laughs> Isn't it ironic he's making jokes about people's spelling and grammar? <laughs> That's a good one there. Hold, hold on, can we go back a minute? We're going to go back a minute. Thank you, Caden Michael Bartell. Is that better? Yeah, that's All right, thank you. Better. For ensuring another generation of male models. That is Terrible. awesome. Terrible. <laughs> I like the screen face, too. The screen I did, face is good. No, I didn't even have to look for that. If you Google Seth Bartell, that's an image that comes up on, on the internet. That's like <laughs> Anyways, all right. That's funny stuff. You know that's funny. It's good. I'll give you that. Thank you, No Shave November. Seth, do you celebrate No Shave November? No, I can't. Yeah, because you can't grow a beard. <laughs> Ryan does. Look at Ryan. <laughs> yeah, woo. I think Ryan posed for all three of those, right? <laughs> Look at him. Thank you, No Shave November, for helping make Barry's creepy beard look more Jim Henson-like. <laughs> Barry looks like Jim. Barry, where are you? <laughs> Barry, where are you? He's hiding. <clears throat> no, no, no. Stand up. Oh, you are standing. <laughs> Check him out. Oh. 
I did not make a short joke this year. I had to throw that you one did, in there. You just did. <laughs> oh, you're right. I'm sorry. My bad. Um, thank you, Stan Lee. May you rest in peace for creating a generation of men who think it's okay to dress up like this. <laughs> Those, those are real people that dressed up for Comic-Con. I think that's Iron Man and Wolverine Banana. <laughs> Some people even dress up even weirder. Check out this next guy. Who is that? <laughs> who, is, who is that? It looks like Knights of the Petite Table to me. Just saying. Have you been to Comic-Con? What's that? Have you been to Comic-Con? Have I been to Comic-Con? I sign autographs at Comic-Con. <laughs> Thank you, the village people, for creating a tool that helps the people of Ohio remember how to spell their state name. <laughs> that is it. Thank you, everybody, for letting me write my thank you notes. Wow. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving and a great service right. after you. We've got a great show for you tonight. Just kidding.